Ho, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am the Crypto Crow. It is Sunday evening. You're going to be watching this on Monday, though, and uh, just concluded, uh, well, concluded my Christmas for the most part this afternoon and had a really good time with family and, and friends. I had a uh, fire spinner in my driveway. <laughs> this is a friend of ours has been practicing, but we're going to get right into it. Uh, currently, Bitcoin is trading uh, sideways for the most part, still bearish. Uh, on a four hour chart. And, you know, I'm not expecting this to go significantly higher. So I, I'm not overly pondering the price action right now. A lot of people were saying that we were going to get a big pump for Christmas. And I said, I don't think we're going to get it. And of course, we really didn't. Uh, the, the market sentiment is different than it has ever really been before. And there's just too much going on in the world right now. Uh, but we're going to get to some of that. Also, I want to let everybody know that. Uh, over the weekend, I did a video, a 3X, uh, three times I was going to give away $100 in Ethereum, uh, basically to three people uh, that left comments uh, that were, you know, good comments, you know, fun comments. And so I have awarded the, the three winners and I've alerted them in the comments telling them to check their wallet. Uh, it's all verifiable, more than welcome to check it out. And uh, I just did this. So <laughs> hopefully by the time you've read this, they will have responded. Thank you, I've received it and it's all good. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you might celebrate. Now we're gonna get into some news. Uh, this isn't even, I mean, this is kind of news, but I thought this was a big deal that merited it, its own video. Institutions are just just not interested in crypto, says JP Morgan, senior strategist. It's very interesting. I don't know why they would say such a thing. Uh, I guess the institutions just aren't interested, right? Uh, institutional investors feel relieved. They stayed away from crypto, said Jared Gross. <laughs> This guy an idiot or what? Like what? I I don't I don't know who this dude is, but the fact that this is a thing in an article is tripping me out. So let's see what he has to say. Despite the massive bull market in 2020 and 2021, institutions have remained on the crypto sidelines and feel relieved about it. This is what J.P. Morgan, senior investment strategist, argued recently, indicating that the interest in the asset class from such investors is effectively non-existent. Isn't that interesting? The most notable bull run in the cryptocurrency market started at the end of 2020 and lasted for about a year, seeing prices explode to new highs. Bitcoin, for one, went from under 10,000, like 4,000, to $69,000 within that time frame, becoming a trillion dollar asset at, that, at the time. There were multiple reports during the cycle that large individual investors as well as institutions are getting on the bandwagon, including Mass Mutual, One River, and others. I, I know I'm reading this with like a smug kind of whatever. However, J.P. Morgan senior investment analyst Jared Gross believes that this interest has either disappeared or it has never been at the scene at all. How did we get to a trillion dollars in Bitcoin market cap then? Because it wasn't just retail investors. Uh, sorry to say, he blamed it on the enhanced volatility and argued that most institutions are relieved that they missed out on last year's rally because of everything that happened in 2022 and the massive price declines. Listen, <laughs> I can't even read any more of this. How much more is this? Um, yeah, it's very short. It's just a sip. It's a simple FUD piece. That's all this is. It's a simple crypto FUD piece. And I, I find it actually quite laughable because if you just look at some of the, just a little bit of the information, just in, in Bitcoin alone, Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market cap is the gateway and indeed the only stop for many institutions that vent, ventured into the cryptocurrency market. As of June 2022, 6.47% of all Bitcoin that will ever exist is held by institutions. A broad category that includes ETFs like VanEck in Canada and sovereign governments like El Salvador. <clears throat> Listen, the only reason I'm going to keep this video short as well, because I want you to get the point and think about it throughout the rest of your day. The only reason that groups like a JP Morgan would put some guy out there to say some stupid stuff like this is because we're in a bear market and they want the prices to go lower. That's all there is to it, especially at a time when they're working on spot ETFs and other vehicles that the institutions are going to buy in en masse. 
I predict that over the 2023 uh, the, the the remainder of the 2023 bear market, we're going to see some significantly lower prices across the board in pretty much all things. Whether you're talking about cars or the housing market or the crypto space or the traditional stock market, I believe that for many, the world is going to look like the sky is legitimately falling in 2023. And I think it's going to dwarf what we've seen to date because I think that the true culmination of everything that's been going on as well as you know the the new 1.5 or 1.7 trillion dollar omnibus bill or whatever that was just passed through before anybody could read all 4500 pages of it all of this nonsense that's going on has a purpose and it doesn't matter what you know the right or the left say about any of this money or any of these bills or anything we are intentionally doing what we're doing for reasons that the majority of us will probably never fully understand but there's an agenda to it. And there is a reason why it's all happening. And it doesn't matter where the money goes. It doesn't matter if it's going to a study to figure out how rats mate or uh, like whatever, okay? All of the different silly things that we see, you know, all of the earmarks, all of this stuff is, is it, it's cronyism, it's money. It's just, it's money going to this person or that person so that it comes back to these people in other ways to help their campaigning and to help their career uh, political agenda effort whatever the case may be but the point is overall we are going to see some significant changes over 2023 to the crypto space from regulation on down and i'm not really worried about it <clears throat> but the idea that institutions aren't at play that institutions haven't invested aren't investing and uh, aren't waiting for things like these these big ETFs to come out that's going to enable them to buy crypto much easier uh, and, and, and do it all on paper like they do everything else. <clears throat> but I will also say this. It is quite literally only a master matter of time until the traditional stock markets are tokenized. It's coming, it's happening. The CBDCs, all of this stuff. This isn't conspiracy nonsense, folks. You might read, I've, I've seen a bunch of quack pots that are out there talking CBDCs, this and that, and they're trying to scare everybody into thinking that, you know, uh, that all kinds of pandemonium is, is gonna ensue. And it could, I mean, I'm not saying that it's not possible, but. When I watch other people, sometimes I can I feel pretty good about being able to tell if they're just going after clickbait or they're just going after views and scare tactics to try and keep you locked in and go into them for all of this ungodly information that they've encountered. It's all a bunch of nonsense. The entire market is going down further. And uh, yeah, institutions are waiting because they know what's coming. If you think for a second that these institutions don't have relationships with the regulatory bodies and and probably get little memos here and there that get passed down as rumors and so forth and so on, they know what's coming. They know what's happening. And they're sitting on the sidelines waiting for the prices to go much, much lower, as I'm sure they are going to do. And when we do get a lot of these ETFs and we get a lot of these new investment vehicles, that's I think ultimately when the big institutions are going to come in in substantial waves rather than you know one to five percent of you know total holdings you know being invested in the crypto space we're going to see much much greater sums because quite frankly at some point it's all going to be tokenized and it's all going to be considered crypto anyway the only difference is how do you get into it how do you get out of it who's holding it and you know honestly at a time when the cbdc's and things do go into effect and a lot of this other garbage is regulated out of the space I think banks, the role of banks is going to be substantially different too. I think that they're probably going to be more like customer service centers uh, for custodying people's crypto that don't want to deal with uh, blockchain wallets and other elements associated with the space. So, you know, listen, when you see stuff like this, know that groups like JP Morgan and, and uh, like all of these major investment firms, a lot of these guys and gals, they all have their own uh, trading desks and, and, and individualized trading vehicles and everything else specifically for retail and institutional investors. So don't let stuff like this uh, fool you. It's a bunch of garbage. It's, they're trying to continue suppressing the prices they ac accumulate and, and they get ready. And, and, you know, here's the thing I've also learned real quick is the fact that so many of these people with power in the media and the financial world and so forth, when they're saying, you know, sell it's it's probably because they're buying when they say buy it's because they're already holding 
okay just keep that in mind as you move forward it's monday enjoy your day i hope you had a great weekend until next time i'll see you soon crow your coins